Well, as the school year nears for CMS, the district is trying to fill openings for a crucial position bus drivers. WCNC Charlotte's Trisha Woodard has a look at the hurdles CMS is now facing as the clock ticks down to the first day. The school bus driver shortage is continuing to get worse. School districts across the country are struggling to keep the wheels on their bus going round and round. We need to be looking at what we can do to solve the problem today because otherwise if we don't we're going to be having the same conversation next year. Campbell Milam is with Hopskip Drive a company that partners with school districts around the country, arranging rides for kids that don't fit neatly on a bus route. She says data shows the pool of candidates applying to school transportation jobs continues to get smaller. Last year, 88% of respondents, those are school transportation officials, said that their operations were constrained because of the school bus driver shortage. This year, that's up from 88% to 92%. Some school districts like CMS are getting creative to find new ways to recruit bus drivers and technicians. They're offering a $1,500 sign-on incentive for drivers and a $3,000 sign-on incentive for technicians. The sign-on bonus is helpful to us. However, as I'm sure you probably know, while we have our sign-on bonus, um, CATS is upping the ante with theirs. They have brought back uh, part-time drivers and starting their pay at $25 per hour. So um, again, our pay is still $17.75. They say their goal this school year is to increase their AM on-time arrival rate from 91% to 93% and their PM on-time arrival rate from 87% to 90%. But with 32 vacancies and 50 drivers on approved leave, that ambitious goal is going to need a lot of effort. We're doing everything we can to continue the recruitment process um, and get ready to open the year as strongly as we can.